Hi, in this part, we will demonstrate how we can create this kind of character inside Metapipe and Maya. So, too many people for asking, can you demonstrate this kind of character? Because in the previous demonstration, there is a female character and I think people think that it is only for human characters, but it's not. You can create any character you want, any proportions, any eye proportion, any head proportion, and any body proportion. Let's create this character. I come back to Maya and let's open our Metapipe Studio 1.1.0. And in here, we have a new build body algorithm that can handle any kind of proportions. Let's first thing first, Let's change it to male character because our creature character is male. Toggle gender and updates. And then open DNA viewer, select this tree and go to data, GUI, analog GUI, and after assembly and process. Here it loaded our model. First thing first, don't forget this part, load the DNA and batch import. Inside here, I will select head, teeth, and the eyes. And if you have eye edge or eye shell, you can import all of here. I will show you how you can edit all of those. So I will select the custom head and then original head set targets. And then let's select eyes. And first we need to select inside spine four, spine five, neck one, neck two, head, facial, Roots and facial li, facial ri, left one is first, right one is second, and then add selection, left mesh, right mesh, again left is first, right is second. We have four objects selected, let's say i transformation. As you can see, it only changed the joint transformation, but we need the mesh as well. So if you have human model, you don't need to change the eye model, but if you have something like this, you need to change its shape. Let's leave it like this and let's select original metahuman mesh and join transformation. This may take one or two minutes according to your computer speed. In my case, it took something like one minute. And as you can see, it transferred all of the data, but we don't have eyes and we have problems on the eye area you can fix them from blend shapes and i will shove all of this in here height joints and let's fix the eyes first and i want to isolate those so let's say i i have this kind of big eye let's select this one and create a blend shape. Let's duplicate this to make a delta shape, add selection as target and set this to minus one. As I explained in the video part four of the free version. And let's select this one, add it to here. Let's set it one. And now we have the same model in here. And then this one, unhide the custom mesh, select this, create blend shape, and duplicate original one, add selection as targets, minus one, and then add this model, this custom model to here as target, set to one, and here we have exactly the same shapes with the custom mesh. Let's do the same thing to the teeth mesh. I will isolate teeth mesh, the custom and the original one, and here, as you can see, custom mesh different than the original one. So you can again select this one, create blend shape, duplicate it, add selection as target, minus one, and then add this one as target and set it to one. And we can delete it. And here you can see our teeth mesh. So I don't have any mesh for eyelashes or eye edge. If you want to use them, you can create your own eye edge mesh or eye lashes mesh. You can take the original one and then sculpt it to the 
to your mesh or you may not use them. I don't use them in my case. I won't touch them. And let's save the DNA. Again, it took one minute or so. Here is our custom mesh. We can delete extra meshes right now. Let's take the head, eyes, teeth, and yeah, that's it. Split them. We have a clean mesh in here. But there is a problem for the eyes. And let's fix with our new update. So how we can fix this kind of thing? First of all, let's understand why this is happening. This is happening because we used a bigger eyes than the human mesh. But MetaHuman has a eye rotation range inside their DNA so that we cannot change it and the eyelids rotates to here. This is its limitation. So you cannot close the eye completely. But you can change its blend shape and you can close it. So we have a tool that works with only just one click if you have your custom blend shape. In my case, I sculpted the closed version of the eyes inside ZBrush. What did I do is, while its eye is closed, I exported it to the ZBrush and make the modifications and then re-import it back to Maya. And you can sculpt it inside Maya as well, duplicate it and let's unlock its transformations. You can go to sculpting and sculpt, select mesh and select move edges. You can do your modifications right here like this. But in my case, ZBrush is better for this. And then let's import my custom blend shapes. Batch import and here is my corrective blend shapes. And let's move them to the side. First, we need to change their names because sometimes Maya adds a namespace on it and this may cause problems. So let's change its name to whatever you want. If you want, just type ASDF this or right left. It doesn't matter for the name. You can make better names. And then go to our NIV script. So make sure the controller is in the value of one and select original material and then select your custom corrective blend shape and click on this button and here it is let's delete select it i guess it is working let's set this to zero and make the same thing to the other side select the original select the custom and corrective blend shape and delete selected and it is working and both of working great and i will make another tutorial for the other blend shapes because some areas is a little tricky but you can do your modifications in any expression for example let's try its limits Let's do something different. Let's batch import and import my head mesh. Again, don't forget to rename it, anything you want. And I will move it to the top to see it better. Come to here, select original mesh, and then I want to set my controller as job open. Check if it is one or not. Select the original and select the custom mesh. Click corrective blend shapes. Let's delete select it and here is our mesh. And here is the cool thing. When I close the jaw, it morphs to my original mesh. And you know that you can do something crazy. Let's undo all of this. I will delete extra meshes. Let's check again my expressions. Everything's fine. Also, you need to fix these shapes, look down or look right if it's necessary. Let's check closing. It is working. So I will save this 
and then prepare to export. What it does is change the naming for Unreal Engine setup. After that, I need to load my body from here and let's show joints here. As you can see, there is no body joints for the body mesh, but we can build it from scratch without touching anything. And let's click on build body only and wait. Again, it may take time one minute. Here it's loaded and there is an error called show warning dialog, but it's not important because it comes from the FBX file. And let's check it is working. Yeah, it is working. As you can see, you cannot use this skeleton inside Maya for now, but when you export this to Unreal Engine, everything works fine. And the last step is export all of it. And let's click on export. And all exported. These warnings are not important, not affecting us. And now we have everything that we can use inside Unreal Engine. To avoid problems, you need to separate these meshes by separating the materials before export the mesh. Also, if you don't want to use LODs, please delete LODs before exporting and all of the other meshes that you won't use in your Unreal Engine scene. And that's it for this tutorial. I will demonstrate the tool in another videos as well. Good luck with your creations and you can join us on Discord if you have any problem or any question. Take care. Goodbye.